Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we're taking a look at the Ayulo Win FC 183 3-in-1 Hot Swappable RGB Gaming Keyboard. So, what does a 3-in-1 mean? Well, you can connect this three different ways. First way through USB wired, second way through a USB dongle that is included through 2.4 gigahertz connection and Bluetooth as well through multiple connections. And like I said before, this is hot swappable and some really awesome RGB effects. So let's get into the keyboard. Uh, first off, I gotta tell you right now, this I have the white version. I wish I had the black version, but we're gonna test out the white version. So let's go. Right, here you go, your keyboard. Nice protective covering. And there you go. Here is your keyboard. It might be tough to see within the light because the, the keys are ultra clear, so you might have a lot of reflection going off. But you can actually see the, the, the blue switches within each of the keys of the board. Uh, you have your function button right here. This is the main thing that's going to be doing all the magic for this keyboard. Uh, you have some function lights here on the side. Let's take a closer look at the keyboard. Okay, you've got your stand here so you can hold up your keyboard at an incline if you choose. You have two selections here. You have your high high one and then also you have a lower one as well. High and low. Okay, you have your USB dongle that's right here. Built inside of the keyboard, stored inside of the keyboard. There's a little magnet right there that's actually holding it in place. Okay. Uh, you have a, I guess you have a, I'm not, yeah, you have a key here of some sort that lets you know on how to actually get to the short keys for all the functions of the board when it comes to lighting or selecting correct keyboard layout for different devices that you connect to. You know, but like I said before, you can connect it either wired, you can connect to an Android device, a Windows device, a Mac device, an OS device. And of course, whenever you connect these things to these different devices, they're all going to have some kind of different button layout. Well, you can just hotkey to those button layouts so there's no confusion and everything's good to go. And of course, uh, different layouts for setting your lights, like we said before, and an on and off button, because you can either you, you can either use this wired connection or built-in battery that's inside of it. Let's take a look at the rest of the accessories. You have a USB-C, USB-C to USB-A charger, also connector for your keyboard. You have your placeable blue switches. I guess for some for some reason they wear out over time, but yeah your instructions because this keyboard is so customizable this this these instructions will help you get the customization that you're looking for it's all in here and of course you have a little tool here to start replacing or hot so replacing your keys and i'll give you an example real quick so we'll take here let's go ahead and grab this button right here and then and it comes off. You can see right there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Put it in as well. I'm not really getting into the, the replacing of the keys today. We're gonna check out the functionality and also the RGB effects of the keyboard. So let's get straight into that. Uh, first thing, let's connect through our wired connection. Straight into USB, because you got your USB-C port right there. Plug this directly into my laptop. And let's watch the light show. All right, welcome. All right, as you can see right here, you can see how that light just lit up. It means that we're connected to our, oh, there we go, um, our wired connection, our USB connection. So throughout the future, as we're going through this video, I can go from uh, wireless through the uh, the USB dongle. We can do two we can do three additional Bluetooth, and then we can switch to wire, and we just hot swap that through the function and pressing one of those buttons. Here you'll see the Q, the W, the Mac, the, the E, and the R. We connected it, like I said before, different keyboard layouts. So if you have a specific keyboard, if you need a specific keyboard layout for an Android device, let's just say you're connecting to an Android tablet or an Android phone, you can go function Q and it'll set up this entire keyboard for that layout. Same thing for Windows, which I'm connected to right now. I'm now set up for Windows, uh, Mac, iOS, and so forth. All right, so here we go. I gotta tell you, I really like the look of this keyboard again. I wish I got the black one, but we're we're rolling with the white one so far. Uh, you can see on the side we've got uh, some RGB effects on the side uh, as well, which is really cool. Of course, the keyboard is just completely lit up. Now let's get to the uh, as far as the different light effects. You have 17 RGB backlit effects, so you can cycle through those by the function button and the insert button right here. 
and you can see how our pattern just changes up. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Yeah, different RGB effects. Oh, and this one. Oh, I think it's my favorite. Yeah, I like this one. Try it again. Look at that. It just kind of goes. We can slow that out with different effects. I'll show you that later. Of course, we've got that. Slow one. Oh, it's kind of going to an up down. It's kind of like a cross. I believe this one just turned it off. Oh yeah, just turned it off. And then we're back to a whole solid color. We're about to cycle back. No, oh, it's in sections and quadrants. Full gradient across the entire one. Oh, I love this one. This is so cool. Okay, and then menu and shit. I got like a, a matrix kind of feel as well. And that. All right, so let's go. Let's go back to something cool. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, that, that's pretty cool. All right, let me show you what this actually looks like in the dark, so you can see the video effects even better. Oh, that is just gorgeous. L look at that. At the same time, I can change the actual brightness of the colors by holding the function button and the delete button. All right, and l actually, let me just, let me cycle back to something where it's just on all the time. Okay, so let me go function and then delete. And I'm really not seeing the actual it getting lighter or darker. It's just kind of like swapping different colors. But if you do want to play with the actual brightness, you can hold the function and go the up, uh, the up and down arrow. See how it brings it all the way bright. And if I hold function all the way down, we can go all the way to the point where it's off. So yeah, and then we can let's change the colors again. Then if I want to actually change the actual colors on the colors on the actual side, the, the RGB effect on the side, I can go function and menu. See how it's playing out there. That is super cool. Oh yeah. Now I gotta tell you, overall I do like the feel and look and actually the, the tactile feel of the actual buttons. This is a mechanical keyboard, so you're gonna have that, that, that audible sound compared to it. Let me give you a quick example, sound-wise, what it mechanical and non-mechanical sound like. So, yeah, and then it's completely up to you. Just want to give you a reflection of what it actually sounds like. Yeah, so like I was saying before, the, the feel, the function, the RGB effects look nice. This is not a full-size keyboard, meaning you don't have a number pad off to the side. I do wish it did have one. Maybe also an additional USB port for maybe plug-in devices or maybe like a charging device. That would have been nice. But right now, I'm, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts. It would have been cool if those things were there. For me, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, just want to let you know that would have been on my wish list of things to add to this uh, keyboard as well. Uh, now let's do the uh, do some more connection, uh, connecting uh, test with this keyboard. Like I said before, right now we're connected through our wired, so we're gonna disconnect this altogether. I've lost connection with my laptop. Let's go back to oh, let's try first the dongle. Okay, and I can see we've got no power because we're not doing anything. We're not connected through the USB. That was the USB cable that was powering it. So we're gonna flip it over. We'll go to our on and off switch, turn it on, and you'll see it come on immediately. And then, so right now it says that I'm connected to uh, USB. So I'm gonna go function, and I'm gonna go to the USB dongle. And now we're connected. And as I look at my computer, I'm now typing away just fine. Super simple. Now if I want to, I can also switch immediately to Bluetooth. So, I already have it synced up to my Bluetooth, so I'm gonna go to, on my laptop, Bluetooth on my laptop, so I'm gonna go function, the number one, which is Bluetooth connection number one. There we go, it's, it's highlighting. And then, I am, I'm connected to my laptop, just like that, so simple. Now, let's do the same thing for my phone. I'm doing this entire thing with a low light. Let's get the light back on. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just function two, and it's already connected to my phone. You can see 
Oh, let me bring it to view so you can actually see it. Yeah. Just like that. So I really like the way I can just connect it to so many different things at the same time. Um, and it's hot swappable. So I can go function um, 2.4 and now I'm connected to my laptop. I can go function one and I'm still connected to my laptop and I'm st it's still going. I can go function two and I'm still, I'm still connected to my phone, which is super, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it makes sense, right? It, ju it, it just makes sense. And I, I like the fact that I can just go back and forth that I have uh, several different custom connection buttons for Bluetooth as well. Outside of that, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, decent keyboard. It looks nice. Again, me personally, I wish I got the black one, but the white one is just as uh, nice. The RGB effects look really cool. There's a variety of them. I love that. Uh, you're not stuck to like one or two RGB effects. You can really show this, you can really show this guy off with everything you see right here. And yeah, it's battery built in. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of positive things to say about that. All right, guys, that's the Aurora. Let's try to get to this. Try to get through this. The FZ183 3 in 1 hot swappable RGB wireless gaming keyboard. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you out. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own wireless gaming keyboard. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of your future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here. And also ding that notification so you don't miss out on any other future videos. Guys, thank you so much. Take care. Bye. I am liking you. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>